Hey folks, hope your day's going well. I uh, wanted to take a few minutes today though and talk about something that we hear a lot. Uh, people will look at the market and say, well, we've got to be in a bubble. Now they feel that way because prices just keep going up and it seems like a bubble. But does that mean we're in a bubble? Well, not necessarily. And it's important to understand why. You see, in a bubble situation, we would normally expect that there would come a point at which there would be enough people looking at the number of houses available and the number of people looking for houses that they would conclude that the, the market's out of bounds. There are not enough houses, or rather there are too many houses and too few buyers, and as a result, it's not worth paying what's being asked. That would cause prices to drop quickly. In effect, the bubble bursts. But that doesn't seem to be the case right now. Demand is high and supply is low rather than the other way around. Now part of the picture is the nature of the home building industry over the last few decades. From the 1970s through the 2000s, there were about 15% more housing units built than there were new households. That meant that there was a huge oversupply of houses available. Well, then we had the housing collapse in the late 2000s, and by 2010, the situation reversed. There were more house, houses, more households being formed than there were houses being built or housing units being built. That trend continued through 2017. Reasonably, that took up a lot of the surplus inventory that had built up over the previous years. So housing prices started to increase again. Then came the pandemic. Now that really changed everything. It caused a lot of chaos in the workforce and in the supply chain. Now remember that about 30% of construction materials are imported from China. And the, the impact of the, the virus, the pandemic, was that there was a huge increase in the price of goods coming in from offshore. Additionally, the workforce was depleted. Now that was important because uh, con home constructors, builders, were having a hard time getting people to work for them. Uh, some were saying that they could build many more houses if they could get the people. In order to get the people, they had to pay more in many cases. And we know that those price increases, for, or the cost increases, always get passed on to the consumer eventually. So, between uh, rising wages and rising prices for materials, we saw that there was an increase in housing prices through the pandemic. Now, that's really what we would expect to see. Then we throw in another factor. Historically low interest rates made it possible for people to get into the market and buy homes that might once have not been able to do so. Well, all of that came together to result in just what we've seen. Rising demand for a limited supply, higher prices. But does that mean we're in a bubble? Will we see prices crater at some point soon? Well, probably not. It's going to take years for home builders to build our way out of the supply shortage. In the meantime, Utah's low unemployment rate makes it a desirable destination for people from other areas. Additionally, Utah natives who might once have gone off, gone to college, and moved out of state are often staying in state now. The result is that we're seeing an increased population, more households, at a time when it's very difficult to build the houses to get out of the shortage that we're facing. Now that's just what we're up against right now. So will we see dramatic price drops? Probably not, though no one can guarantee what's going to happen. All the signs though seem to point to a moderation in pricing. Maybe not a drop, maybe not even a leveling off maybe just a slower rate of increase. Now that's kind of what I suspect. The bottom line for me is that we are seeing a market behave exactly the way you would expect a market to behave. 
short supply, high demand, higher prices. Competing pressures will moderate the market, but we're not likely to go back to seeing pri prices like what we had 25 or even 10 years ago. Instead, we'll continue to see prices at or moderately higher than what they are right now. What does that mean for you? Well, if you've been thinking maybe we'll wait until the market levels out, well, maybe it will. Maybe you're right. But a lot of what I'm seeing makes me think that this could be the best time to jump in before prices go higher or interest rates go higher because obviously that impacts how much house you can get. If you have questions about the market, if you have the interest in making a move and would just like to bounce some ideas off somebody, please feel free to reach out to me at 801-556-2259. 801-556-2259.